Supercapacitors are one of those intriguing forms of technology, one which has so much potential, but so much untapped potential that we haven't quite figured out yet. However, until now, possibly, researchers have just discovered a revolutionary breakthrough that may in fact make energy storage far more affordable, efficient, and effective than what it is today. And no one would have really thought it was by using supercapacitors. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. A recent breakthrough in supercapacitor technology could revolutionize energy storage. University of Texas El Paso researchers described how they have achieved the highest level of energy storage, also known as capacitance. They did this in a supercapacitor recently, and it was the highest level in history. Years ago, there was a series of supercapacitor claims. In fact, there's been many over the years, which kind of haven't really come true. Claims from this new landmark study are very interesting and show a period of possible significant progress. The study was led by Louis Echegoyen, who's a PhD professor at the University of Texas and a number of other researchers. And it was recently featured in the Journal of Scientific Reports. Supercapacitors are devices that store electrical energy between two metal plates that are closely held together, but separated by a surface that cannot conduct electricity. Supercapacitors are similar to batteries, except that batteries store and retrieve energy using chemical transformations, while capacitors store energy by using oppositely charged surfaces. They are frequently used in machines that require rapid discharge of energy, like electric cars, buses, trains, and cranes, but only in theory. Their supporters say they could work for all those technologies, but in the real world, it hasn't really panned out that way. The head researcher, a longtime faculty member with the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry said, this is a big step forward and it gets us closer to achieving supercapacitors with high energy density, which would radically change how we store and manage energy. Supercapacitors have high potential because they can charge much, much faster than batteries. In fact, they can charge within seconds or even fractions of a second, according to the researchers. However, current supercapacitors can only store a very low amount of energy. That's the big problem. This limits their range of potential applications. If supercapacitors could be designed to store more energy, they would be physically lighter and charge much, much faster than today's batteries which would have a massive commercial impact, according to researchers, scientists, and well, everyone who has looked at battery technology for years. This new supercapacitor has achieved a record level of storage or capacitance using a material with a carbon nano onion core structure, which creates multiple pores that allow storage of a greater volume of energy. Supercapacitors have lots of uses in electronics and electrical systems. However, not really so much so far in terms of energy storage because of their inability to hold a lot of energy. Around 10 years or so in the past, many hoped that supercapacitors could take a very quick charge and then slowly discharge into a battery, meaning they could significantly charge up or speed up the charging cycle for an electric car. So many people believe the holy grail of an EV was to have one with supercapacitors that could charge the battery in less time than it takes to fill your tank up with gasoline. However, that hasn't come to fruition yet. This technology though may help us to get towards further towards that becoming a reality. Now, I don't personally believe people really need to charge their car in a fraction of a second or in 10 seconds. However, this kind of technology could be something that went into something like a Formula One car, a race car, or into something that needs instant or near instant charging. And it's good to see improvements in this technology. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.